yeah uh, namaste uh, very good afternoon everyone hope you all are in good health uh, my name is bimal kadel from frox job we are really happy to have you all in today's webinar and thank you uh, for your valuable time with us this is our second webinar in association with ait extension bangkok hr trend was our first and now uh, changing role of hr in digital world uh, is the webinar today where we are going to uh, happen, uh, it is going, going to happen today yeah so one of the uh, research has uh, concluded that at least 40% of all businesses will die in 10 years if uh, they don't figure out how how to change is i mean how to change their entire company to accommodate new technology so we can imagine how important the technology and the digitalization world is uh, this is uh, what we are going to discuss uh, in today's webinar and uh, what the, our expert are going to expert uh, explain about uh, in the in the in the webinar today so uh, you can please have a look uh, into the itinerary displayed in the screen about the program flow so it will uh, be around 1 hour and 15 minutes till 4:15 nepali time now uh, valuing your time let me hand over the platform to mr dr jonathan sir executive director ait extension sir it's over to you thank you so much thank you very much bimal and uh, a very good afternoon to everybody namaste and uh, welcome to this latest um, webinar in this uh, in this very important series so thank you very much and uh, we're looking forward to a very a uh, productive and informative afternoon um i have been thinking a lot about how uh, hr has been affected by the various changes that we are all talking about the various technologies from data analytics through to um blockchain technology etc um and of course hr like every field is going to be increasingly disrupted as uh, as as we move forward and I, in a sense um the covid-19 crisis that we've all been living through over the past few months has been a crash course in orienting everybody to the potential of digital for example for maybe the past 15 or 20 years we've heard about the paperless office but for the first time in those 20 years i can say that in the past 3 months i have not printed a single page of paper my office now is truly paperless for the first time in um in living memory um and this has been brought this has really been forced upon us by um circumstances of course but that's a learning opportunity and i think um as what what we're looking forward to this afternoon is a conversation that allows us to explore the various dimensions of how um how the digitalization has has started to transform businesses not just in the west not just in thailand but in nepal and everywhere in the world i think everywhere in the world um in a sense there has been a a, a leveling of of opportunities for all of us so um we're looking forward to uh, hearing from nepali colleagues and and your perspective on our side i'd like to give a very warm welcome to my old friend Ronaldo Calabdan who's agreed to to work with us as the facilitator uh the, the the global facilitator on behalf of AIT extension and Ray is somebody that was working with us when we set up AIT extension 20 years ago and uh has remained um a a steadfast collaborator and and um as a freelance consultant Ray has been able to will bring um uh, very diverse uh, perspectives and and uh, and views on this particular topic um we're delighted to work with uh, with frox job of course and 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 rigo and i'd like to commend um 
everybody involved for the uh, very high level of professionalism uh, involved in this particular webinar. So without further ado, um, let me welcome everybody and we look forward to a very uh, productive, successful, enjoyable, interactive, above all else, um, webinar this afternoon. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Jonathan, sir. Uh, definitely. So uh, it's, it's a really happy matter for us as well to work with uh, you uh, in collaboration with AIT Extension for, uh, in fact, it's, it's in, uh, in, for industry growth, in fact, I would say. Yeah. So, uh, this webinar is jointly organized by uh, Frox Job and uh, Rego Technology, Rego, in fact. And uh, AIT is definitely there uh, from, from the very beginning day. And uh, we are together for many things in coming days. So coming back to the webinar, uh, let me, uh, the changing role of HR in digital world is the second webinar following our HR trends. For today's webinar, we have two facilitator, Mr. Mukunda Pokhel, who is the founder of Rego. I hope you might be familiar with Rego as it is one of the leading XRMS software in Nepal. Uh, and similarly, we have a second facilitator, a facilitator. So he is Reynaldo uh, Kalabdan. He is expert of organization development and possesses 25 years plus experience in similar field. So mostly he, uh, he worked with uh, AIT for more than 10 years. So I would, I would like to welcome both of our experts for today's webinar. So uh, I would like to request Mr. Mukunda Pokhel for our, our first uh, facilitator to take over this platform. And to the participant, uh, please, if you have any queries, uh, you can drop in the chat box. So we will get back to you on your queries following the uh, presentation by the facilitators. Thank you, Mukunda sir. It's over to you now. Thank you, Bimal. Welcome everyone and good afternoon. Hope everyone is safe and sound at home or at office. Definitely today is Saturday, you might be in office. And uh, I believe in clear communication. So I'll be presenting in Nepali language. I hope Everybody understands, understands Nepali. I'll be sharing my screen right now. Bimal Jale Bani Shaknu Bhaya, Matsya Mukunda Pukhrel. I'm a Pesale Chartered Accountant, System Auditor, and uh, Information Technology Governance in my work for the past 10 years. And I'm a HR field in the field around 5-7 years of experience. सुरु में महिले BBS पढ़ता है री तेरी हरे कोस्टो थी बने प्राय जो सो अलग तेरी different subject रूम में elective subject थाने चालन थियो महिले तेरी हरे सही HR लाई elective subject लिए कुछ हैं सुरु में अन्य HR सही प्राय धरे दिन थे ना अंते तेरी हरे वाली HR बड़े interest शुरू होते हैं उधर सही अहिले महिले HR के system रूम में HR में कसरी काम करना सकें जो collaboration कसरी करना सके� जैसे रिगो टेक्नोलॉजी हमले 2010 में शुरू करें कहते हों तो इसमें अयले नेपाल में हमले लगभग लगभग 200 बंदा बड़ी लार्ज स्केल इंटरप्राइजर में काम कर रहे हैं तो एचआर को सॉफ्टवेयर ले हम रिगो को एचआर सॉफ्टवेयर को थ्रू बढ़ते हैं नेपाल में अलमोस्ट 60,000 पीपल और को डेटा रा इनमेंशन प्रोसेस होने से अब देरी एक नगरी का ना हमी अलग ती मस्सॉट में आठ दस मिनट में सकाउने मेरा प्लान सा तो नेपाल को लीडिंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आरु मेनली फाइनेंस इंस्टीट्यूशन आरु मैन्युफैक्चरिंग कंसोल्स आरु एनजीओ आईएनजी मात्र हमले अलग काम कर रहे हैं सो तो यो काम करता है री मेनली आज को टॉपिक में जाऊँ हमी मेन टॉपिक से ही एचआर में डिजिटलाइजेशन कौशली शुरू हुआ है रखा था पटी जान रही था मतलब मतलब नेपाल को कॉन्टेक्स्ट में बोल रहा है कौन सा नेपाल में हमले हृदय है से क्या बात बंदा करी स्थिति में लगभग लगभग दस बारह वर्ष देखी स्टडी कर नेपाली कंटेक्स में हमले आइले पनी क्या कर रहे हैं इसमें उड़ा कॉर्पोरेट कल्चर शुरू भाई से क्या चाहिए ना तेरी जो सु बिजनेस हो रहा है पब्लिक कंपनी भाई पनी अथवा प्राइवेट टेल कंपनी भाई पनी मारा उनका जहाँ सा मतलब को काम करता है इसे हमें कॉर्पोरेट कल्चर बंदा पनी फैमिली के तरीके ले कंपनी रोज़ बन बैठा है उनसा 
हमी में अज भी इनोवेशन को स्ट्राटेजी में तीन काम करखर सुरू कर पैले को पुराना में इनोवेशन स्ट्राटेजी तो गए एचआर में अलग डिजिटाइजेशन फोकस होने न भर हमी अलग पछाड़ी पड़ रखा रेन के बोलिए भादा एचआर ली कंपनी कहीं कंप्यूटिंग फैक्टर को रूप में लिदेन एट जम सीम्पल फंक्शन को रूप में जैसे एपोइंटमेंट लेटर दिने सैलरी खुआने ट्रांसफर करने रेकर्ड किपिंग करने सीम्पल फंक्शन को रूप में मत अम चल रहा है धेरे केस में रो अब अब को फ्यूचर में भाव बाहरक ठूल कंपनी सब कंप्लीट कर पड़ने केस में रहा हमें एचआर स्ट्राटेजी रचआर कंप्यूटिंग फैक्टर के रूप में अगड़ी लेकर भर्खर सुरू कर अलसम थे रोक मेजर कुछ में एचआर डिजिटाइजेशन होना अलग टाइम लगन को रिजन चाहिए थी अर्गनाइजेशन ने एचआर को जो टेक्नोलॉजी एचआर मत नभन अरुण टेक्नोलॉजी में इन्वेस्टमेंट धेरे नई कम थी एचआर तो चल हाल काम चलि हाल टेक्नोलॉजी को अप एंड रनिंग भैपुग्स अलि काम करेंगे सीम्पल भैपुग्स वहाँ लो इन्वेस्टमेंट को कारण हमें राइट टेक्नोलॉजी में अज्ञा इन्वेस्ट कर सकि रखे अब सायद यह लास्ट थ्री मंथ में जे कुछ हमें सिक रखे चेंज कर इस भाग पैले में जो सुरू में पाइनियर को रूप हे वर्ल्ड लिंक मंडला सफ्टवेयर स्विफ्ट टेक्नोलॉजी यो ग्लोबल आईएमई वाला एट ग्रुप थी स्विफ्ट टेक्नोलॉजी को ग्रुप धेरे पैल देखि सुरू कर लगभग लगभग मेरे दुई हजार देखे नहीं होगा लगभग बीस वर्ष नहीं भैसको बीस वर्ष अगड़ी देखे नहीं एचआर लिजिटल में लेकर जाने डिजिटल एचआर में काम करने कुछ भैस तर ते हुसम हम डिजिटल एचआर चाहिए तीन अगड़ी बढ़ना सकि रखे हमें सिंपल तीनटा फंक्शन में अड़क बसि रखा एट सीम्पल हम के गये इम्प्लोई रेकर्ड ल डिजिटाइज ग्यौं तो रेकर्ड किपिंग एट डेटाबेस मेन्टेन ग्यौं तेज को पैसे पेपर में थी अब ते रेकर्ड चाहे डिजिटल फर्मेट में हम सब डेटाबेस में हमें सर्ट एंड क्याकुलेसन कर क्याकुलेसन इन देंस जो हमें लिव को क्याकुलेसन होता पेरल को क्याकुलेसन होता टैक्स को होता यो कुछ में अलग क्याकुलेसन रामें धेरे केस में फर्म्स रिप्लेस कर सकता छो जो लिव को फर्म होवा एप्रिजल को फर्म होवर टाइम को फर्म होगा हमें सीम्पल ये तीनटा कुछ मत अलसम अलग काम कर सीम्पल रिकर्ड किपिंग डेटाबेस मेन्टेन करने इम्प्लोई को डेटाबेस प्लस अलग क्याकुलेसन रम सर्ट एंड लेवल में रिप्लेसमेंट करने हम अम को प्रोग्रेस अलमोस्ट ये तर तब जो फास्ट थ्री मंथ में देखी रख्भ थिंग्स अलग चेंज भैर जैसे हमें घर बड़े काम कर रिमोट अफिस को कुछ आयो अस पीछे कोलाबरेशन करूर्ने कुछ तो भाग पे हम टेबल में बसर काम करते टेबल टक हो भेटर ही कुरा तर यह धेरे नई चेंज भैस तर अज भी हमें नेपाल में सीक्न पर्ने धेरे कुछ बाकी जस्ते एवं कुछ हमें यह जो डिजिटल सीस्टम में जान को लगी अलग बारियर सीम्पल मैं एकदम सीम्पल लैंग्वेज में भू क्योंकि टेक्निकल लैंग्वेज में कुरा रियल नाल्डो इस भाग पछाड़ी हो हम अज भी एचआर में स्टैंडर्ड प्रोसेस फलो कर सकि रखे छेन क्योंकि फैमिली टाइप को बिजनेस भर रचआर को प्रोसेस कति तो राम होता तर कई भर्खर नया सीखते प्रोसेस भर चाहे हम स्टैंडर्ड प्रोसेस में नए कसरी आपने तरीका गई रहे हम स्टैंडर्ड प्रोसेस में अज भी छेन रही एचआर को अलग ठूल कंपनी भैदे के होता सबले जो कंट्रोल जैसे ओनर के कंट्रोल कर खोज इन्वेस्टर के कंट्रोल कर खोज तो अननेसरी रूल्स को जो स्टेप एट हाइरारकी एटा अर्क में जम्प करने एप्रुवल को धेरी अननेसरी को हमें अज भी एचआर लथवा डिपर्टमेंट को मैनेजमेंट लुल राइट दी सकता छेन फुल राइट नदिखे के होता तो हाइरारकी बढ़ते जाँ मैं कुछ फिर अर्क पास कराने पर्व अर्क पास कराने पर्व तो अननेसरी रूल अननेसरी कंप्लेक्सिटी रननेसरी हाइरारकी रोने को अर्गनाइजेशन को आपको इंटरनल कुछ भाई हाइरार के कुछ रूल रटाण प्रोसेस अज भी फलो न होने कुछ अर्गनाइजेशन को इंटरनल पार्ट है अर्क एक्सटर्नल मार्केट को पार्ट भी है नेपाल में ट्रुली भचआर सफ्टवेयर अज भी एभालेबल छेन जैसे हमें सफ्टवेयर को सीम्पल ते रेकर्ड किपिंग क्याकुलेसन रलिक फर्म लटोमेसन करने बाहेक को जो सफ्टवेयर कंपनी तैंभंदा बड़ी धीरे दिन सकि रखे छेन रही बाहर को सीस्टम लेकर यूज कर कस्ट को फैक्टर है पैसा को डलर में पे करूर्य अर्क तो सीस्टम ने आर हम जो स्टैंडर्ड प्रोसेस नस में रूल्स अलग कंप्लीट भर इस में तो इंप्लिमेंट करना गाड़ो भैर तो सब भाग पैसे हमें डिजिटल में जाना यह प्रोसेस स्टैंडर्डसाइन कर अर्क हम रूल कंप्लीट ना सीम्पल जी मैं जो दस वर्ष में हेद्दे के देखे वाले धेरे ठाव में तो कंप्लेक्सिटी सीम्प्लिफाई कर सकता तो सीम्प्लिफाई करने तरह हम गएक छो जे कुछ कंप्लेक्स बनाते गई रहें है तो कुछ छोड़े अभी अगड़ी जान सकने अब के अब बने को हमें मेनली एकदम सीम्पल टर्म्स में हे अर्गनाइजेशन ने एट इम्प्लोईस एक्सपेक्ट करने वाक एम्प्लोईसंग अलग नलेज हो स्किल होस् 
अर्गनाइजेशन में काम करना सकने अर्गनाइजेशन एट डिवर दिन सकने नलेज स्किल हो इम्प्लोय चाहे मोटिवेटेड हो रोस् हम अर्गनाइजेशन में काम करता प्लस इम्प्लोय चाहे एट लेवल को पर्फमेंस हमें डिवर करोस् रम्प्लोय अर्गनाइजेशन प्रति लोयल हो रहा रेस्पोन्सिबल बना सकोस् उसे एकाउंटेबल हो इम्प्लोय हमें खोजे अलमोस्ट एकदम समझ में भादा खेल ये कुछ हो तर यो हमें के ख्याल कर हमें क्लियर से ठा तर हमें ओवरलुक गए कुछ हमें इम्प्लोय एप्रोप्रिएट वर्किंग इन्वाइरोमेंट दिन चाहे अलग हम ख्याल कर रर्क पार्ट में हम अर्गनाइजेशन को अब्ज मेन हमें के कर अभी एचआर में काम कर अर्गनाइजेशन को अब्जेक्टिव एटा कुछ रम्प्लोय के काम अर्क करो अर्गनाइजेशन को भिजन मिशन रब्जेक्टिव इम्प्लोय को वर्क जो अलाइन भैर तो हमें कर रहा हम के इम्प्लोय आई सके ग्रेजुएट भर आए हो सीधे काम करना सकता भाई एजेंसन छो न भर लर्निंग नलेज स्किल इनेस करने एट लर्निंग एंड मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम जो स्किल गैप है स्किल गैप एसेसमेंट कर फील करने कुछ कर कैरियर ग्रोथ को लिए इम्प्लोय धेरे लार्ज स्किल को इंटरप्रेस कर इनकेस कैरियर ग्रोथ चाहिए एटाइजेशन अर्क अर्गनाइजेशन जंप करने केस जैसे मैं अब ग्रो करूपर् मैं यहाँ दुई वर्ष काम करें अब अर्क अर्गनाइजेशन अर्गनाइजेशन गए ग्रो कर नगर अर्गनाइजेशन भित्र कैरियर ग्रोथ दिन सकू पर्ने भाग रोक हमें इम्प्लोय को फेयर ट्रिटमेंट कर फेयर ट्रिटमेंट चाहे कस्त सेंस भाई अलग जस्त हमें पर्फमेंस एप्रिजेंट कर इम्प्लोय को रिवार्ड एंड रेकग्नेशन को जैसे इयर को इंड में गए हमें एट पर्फमेंस एप्रिजेंट कर मैनेजर के भूलि सके अथवा अर्क मैनेजर आई सके जो इम्प्लोय के पाने पर्ने उसको एट रेकग्नेशन हो उसे काम को जस हो तो अलग पाई रहे अब डिजिटल एचआर बड़ा कर सकने कुछ भाई यही कुछ हो यही कुछ हमें अगड़ी लेकर जान सकता है जैसे तेक में कर हमें तीन टाइप बेसिक में फोकस कर पड़ने हो जब फिटनेस जब फिटनेस में इम्प्लोय कुछ जब को लगी कत फिट उसको जब प्रोफाइल के हम सुरू में यह काम को कसरी काम करने कस्तो इम्प्लोय ये काम कर सकता यह पोजिशन को उसको स्किल रिक्वायरमेंट के डिफाइन करो उसको स्किल एसेस कर लर्निंग और डेवलपमेंट बड़े अगड़ी लेकर जानू और सक्सन प्लांग इनकेस आज एट इम्प्लोय भैदन भी भोलि उसको ठाव में अर्क कसरी काम करना सकता कसरी तैयार कर ले नलेज मैनेजमेंट को तरीका जानू रो हमें पास थ्री मंथ्स में देखे वाक के टीम वर्क रोलाबरेशन कसरी करने को जैसे गोल अलाइनमेंट को एमबीओ मैनेजमेंट बाई अब्जेक्टिव अथवा ओकेआर अब्जेक्टिव एंड की रिजल्ट तो में फलो कर सकता टास्क मैनेजमेंट हमें कर सकता र फाइल सेयरिंग मेसेजिंग चैट और एचआर सीस्टमें काम कर सकता रवाइलेबिलिटी भर घर बड़ी काम कर रिमोट बड़ी काम कर मोबाइल क्लाउड बड़े काम कर सकता अर्क मेन पार्ट इवालुएसन रिडबैक जैसे कंटिन्स पर्फमेंस एप्रिजल इयर को इंड में नभर बीचमें एप्रिजल कंटिन्स कर रखने टाइमली फिडबैक दिने जैसे उसे कई कर कसरी कर पड़ने तो फिडबैक टाइमली होने पर्यटन रचआर को एनालाइटिक्स पार्ट में जो डेली के भैर हम काम कहाँ कतापटी सुधार कर एनालाइटिक में फोकस कर हमें रिगो ने चाहे यही कुछ लो तो हमें लगभग एक वर्ष अगड़ी यही मॉडल में काम करना सुरू कर रहा थी रस्ट थ्री मंथ में अज बड़ी इसको निड भाई तो अलग रेपिड पेस में गए हमें यह नया वर्ष साउन भाग अगड़ी ना एट नया सीस्टम लंच कर कंप्लिटली नया सीस्टम तो सीस्टम को लगी मैं अलग क्विकली स्क्रीन मत देखा जा मैं क्लोज कर जैसे तो सीस्टम में भारत फीचर धेरे नहीं है जैसे हमें अलग हे मिकली लगभग एक मिनट में सीधाई सकता हाई तो जस्ते हमें एसआरएम सीआईपीडी को बेस्ट प्क्टिस फलो कर कस्टमर को डिमांड सुनेर काम कर मेजर पार्ट यो पीपल एनालाइटिक्स आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस मेसन लर्निंग और चैट बोर्ड और जस्ते चैट बट भाइबर बट काम कर सकने लिव रिक्वेस्ट कर सकने और अलग को चेंजिंग इन्वाइरोमेंट का काम कर मेनली यूजेबल फ्लेक्सिबल रेक्योर सीस्टम से तैयार कर क्विक स्क्रीन मैं सो कर जा पच्चीस हमें अरुण प्रोग्राम इसके बारे में डिटेल में करूँगा सिस्टम भाई जैसे रिक्रुटमेंट बड़ा सुरू हो एव्रीथिंग तब मेल चैट और कहीं भी चाहिए मेल सब कुछ स्किप कर सकता एव्रीथिंग सीस्टम बड़ी काम करना सकता डैशबोर्ड और डेटा एनालाइटिक्स को पार्टर में जो लिव एनालाइटिक्स को पार्टर इम्प्लोय को पार्टर जैसे कि स्किल एंड कंपिटेन्सी को पार्टर में अभी इम्प्लोयर को स्किल कंपेयर करने पार्टर भाई जेडी जब प्रोफाइल ये सब कुछ तैंब हेने पार्टर में अथवा इम्प्लोयर को कंपेरिजन करने पार्टर उ नोट और राख्ने इम्प्लोय को जोरल राख्ने लास्ट में गई समराइज करने पेरोल को पार्ट हो एनालाइटिक्स को पार्ट हो सब कुछ भो ते बजेटिंग को पार्ट हो वर्कफोर्स प्लांग को पार्ट हो गोल मैनेजमेंट टास्क मैनेजमेंट अभी फाइल और सियरिंग को जो चैट और एचआर सीस्टम भित्र चैट और कुछ बाहर भाई इम्प्लोयर को ट्रैक करने कुछ 
इम्प्लोई को सेल्फ सर्विस डैशबोर्ड और सब हमें गई रहो वेब प्लस मोबाइल मोबाइल में यह अब के निड्स हमें फील कर सकता छो रिजिटल में करना चाहे धेरी पोसिबल छोड़ हमें जो तैयार कर तब समयस सहकार कर अगड़ी बढ़ना चाहे एक्सपेक्ट कर ये भन्द मैं मैं अलग एक दुई मिनट बड़ी टाइम ली सके क्लोज कर थैंक यू सो मच मुकुंद सर थैंक यू सो मच फर लाइक सियरिंग अबाउट वेयर द नेपाल मार्केट और वेयर वी आर इन टर्म्स अफ एचआर डिजिटलाइजेशन राइट सो थैंक यू सो मच सो आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट आवर नेक्स्ट स्पीकर मिस्टर रेनाल डो फर हिज प्रेजेंटेशन सर नाउ द प्लेटफॉर्म इज योर सर ओके थैंक यू वेरी मच कैन यू हियर मी क्लियर यस सर Okay, let me just uh, share my screen first. Okay, good uh, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for having me uh, in this uh, webinar, and I also would like to thank uh, everyone for for coming and for joining this webinar today. Now. I would like to thank uh, Mr. Mukun Pokarel for that um, technical aspect that he presented on digital HR, and it is very very important for for him to do that because during my presentation I will not be uh, showing such kind of uh, examples. Yeah, but I am going into the strategic aspect of it and how what 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 are some of the possibilities with respect to. how we can uh, digitally transform hr in this uh, uh, present time so but first let us uh, let me ask you this question first i would like to ask the audience at this time what can make you smile today oh. now we are in a very difficult situation uh, because of covid now i would like to ask this question to all of you and i would like you to answer by writing Uh, on the chat uh, box of zoom yeah what can make you smile today what makes you smile today or what will make you smile today let me see um i would like you to type on the chat okay working from home of course working back getting rid of the problem a uh, news of end of lockdown from oh, it's very fast uh, happy and healthy life we are safe and happy at home peaceful moment having a job healthy and safe secure job uh, career growth working from home motivated staff and so on and so forth thank you very much for for all your feedback on that question because um i i'm asking that question because i hope that we are really fighting we are fighting this uh, situation or we are fighting our enemy the covid by uh, by being overcomers i mean uh, with the use of technology we are overcoming the 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 challenge of covid so and that is a good thing so i hope that this webinar this event that we are doing now would make us happy because we are able to to show that we can do things even with uh with a limitation so thank you very much okay our topic for this afternoon is about the changing role of hr in a digital world so there are so um the keywords there um the role of hr hr itself and the digital world okay so and that's 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 a lot but we have only few minutes to tackle this particular topic now i will be covering uh the strategic role of hr i think you uh, many of you have already heard about this in the previous uh webinars like the webinar of mr dave alrich and it was very rich with regards to what's the role of hr at this point or even not because of covid uh we, we should have been use, doing uh, strategically with regards to hr and we will look at what is digital transformation and i i believe that uh through the presentation of mr mukun you have an idea of what is a digital hr and we are going to look at some of the spe uh, specific 
HR functions and how we can digital, digitalize them. Okay, so we, we, I will be giving you some examples of companies who are doing digital HR uh, going through this number, number the third content. And yeah, the examples that we are going to, to see uh, with regards to few companies that we are going to, to show uh, today. So there will not be a lot of companies that I will be uh, presenting to you, but at least you'll have idea of what they are doing with regards to digitalizing HR. Okay, so this webinar is interactive. I have been requested that it should be interactive, discussion oriented, and there will be of course Q and A. And uh, I would like to introduce you to the, 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 the tool which is called Menti, okay? And then we will do chat by Zoom and also we will use uh, polling. So there will be polling questions as we go along with this discussion. I'm sorry that I won't be, of course, I won't be speaking in Nep Nepali. Uh, I, I'm sorry to say that. So I'm sure that I, I, I will try to make words simple as possible so that it will be more understandable. Okay, are we hearing so far good and well? Okay, I hope everything is okay so far. Now, so let's start, let's dive into the first uh, part of this presentation. Now, it will be looking at the strategic role of HR, especially during this time. The first question that I would like you to answer, okay, is what does being strategic mean to you as an HR professional or as an HR uh, practitioner? What does being strategic mean to you? Now, I would like you to go to this website, okay? I would like you to go to this website, uh, www.menti.com. Do not close your Zoom. Uh, you just open a browser and then you, uh, you go to this uh, website. And once you are in that website, you will enter this code that is shown on the screen, and then you will have to complete the question, the sentence here, as an HR professional, being strategic means being what? Okay, so I would like you to go to Menti now. I will be sh uh, sharing you that, uh, the, the part there. Um, so let me just go there. Um, okay, and then let me share to you. So I hope you are now in Menti. So go to Menti and then type the code 253285. Sorry, I think I have to share this. I haven't shared this one yet. So let me, let me share this with you. Okay, so I hope you can see it now, the question. So go to menti.com and then type the code 253285. And then you have three possibilities of sh uh, sharing your answer. You can, you can write, okay, now we have few words coming in. Being strategic is being accountable, being efficient, being uh, doing employee retention, uh, able to plan and execute, forward looking, of course, efficient hiring, uh, decision making role. Of course, we have to have a role in making decision. A part of core business, yes, indeed we have to be part in that discussion of uh, business-oriented discussions. Future-oriented, organized, visionary, our cloud, word cloud is being populated now with all your answers. Uh, planner, yes, of course, alignment with business, uh, so many things and so true uh, with regards to how to be strategic or what is being strategic, yeah? Uh, as an HR practitioner, as an HR expert, HR department, we have to be like this. We have to be this. We have to, uh, there are so many important words here in the word cloud that describes what being strategic really 
means. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You can uh, keep on typing there, but let me go back to. So, so we will we will we will try to 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 bring in some of those words during the presentation. So let me share with you again our uh, PowerPoint, and once again thank you for for those uh, comments about what really being strategic means as HR professional. Now, so uh, we know that this is the, 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 the processes or the, the functions that HR has to do, starting from attracting um, prospective employees, interviewing them, hiring them, training them, motivating, review, reward, and retention. But we have to ask a question. Is this really happening in our organization? Are we really doing this as HR practitioner, as HR experts, as, as HR leaders? Are we doing all of this? This is supposed to be what we are going to do. Now, have we evolved? Now, uh, based on, based on uh, Mr. McClellan's presentation, it seems that uh, the evolution of HR in Nepal is maybe not that fast, but According to him, there are changes. It's changing now. But here, before, or I don't know whether it's still happening in, in, in Nepal, uh, HR as administrator, just doing routines, transactional uh, uh, activities, payroll, admin. So are we just doing things like that as HR department? Or are we moving forward towards being function, uh, functional expert? Um, are we, are we uh, doing uh, manpower planning? Do we have the expertise on that, hiring, et cetera, et cetera? And have we also progressed to being strategist? HR a strategist, okay? Uh, succession planning, uh, leadership, uh, 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 succession, people management, uh, people strategy. Are we, are we evolving uh, our HR? from being administrators towards this level? And uh, finally, are we as HR practitioners uh, going advancing forward to what is very important in the organization as business partner or business leader? Yeah, so uh, customer focus, HR, strategic, expert, and excellent administrator. We are still doing administration, but we are not remaining as administrator. We are moving forward advancing towards being a partner or a leader and uh, discussing with, with the corporate management and so on and so forth. So I would like you to, 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 to look at uh, uh, HR in your organization or even yourself as part of HR department in your organization. Um, I, would, yeah, I would like you to think, okay? I would like you to think, what about the HR in your own organization? So I will, be, I will be launching, I will be showing you a question. We are, we will be going, uh, to, we are going to do polling and I will show you a poll question and I would like you to answer uh, this question. Okay, let's see what kind of uh, uh, data we will be able to get. Okay, now I hope you will see this question on your screen. I would like you to, to select, uh, you can select uh, one or more answers to this question. Okay, good. It's coming. It's coming. Very good. The role of HR in my organization is what? Administrator, functional expert, strategist, business partner, a leader, okay? Are there any more who would like to, uh, to come in to answer that question? Thank you very much. I will be uh, over there. So I think it's already shown on your screen, the, the, the results. So here, again, administrator is still quite uh, more than half of, 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 uh, of the attendees. 54%, we are still doing a lot of administration. 
but we are also moving towards becoming functional experts, uh, strategists, and around 28% business partner, a business leader. That is, uh, this is what we, what we see about Nepal. We have how many people here? We have 157 participants at this time. And this is quite promising. This, this is quite positive for Nepal. And, 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 and we, should, we should not be saying that Nepal is still at the bottom of that, uh, of that uh, level of, of HR uh, practice. So this is quite positive and, and Nepalese uh, HR community should be happy about this and, and the organization should be happy about this. Thank you, thank you for your inputs on, on that because, um, so I, I'm going to end uh, the poll and, okay, uh, sorry. Um, so here. Again, uh, you, are, you have here the result. Administrator is still leading 57% and 46 for functional expert, 44% strategist and 26% business uh, partner leader. So again, it's quite good. But um, so, so perhaps uh, it's changing at, at present. So let me just uh, stop this. Uh, sharing this result and we will do another poll later. Uh, but what is important is that uh, as real business partner, um, as I mean, HR as a real business partner, we have to add value to not only to our employees. Okay, I think it was, th that, was that was emphasized by Mr. Dave Ulrich last time that we have to add value not only to our employees, but also to our shareholders. Um, sorry. Uh, okay. Um, so we have to add value to our employees, not only to employees. We are not going to focus only in employees but we have to think about the shareholders. We have to think about our customers. We have to think about our suppliers. But of course, we are not able to think about them if we don't do anything about our employees. But we have to, we have to be uh, thinking of, of these uh, people when we are um, performing our roles as, as HR, as business partner, as um, as, as, as part of that decision-making with regards to how business should, should be developed in our organization. So let's move on. Now, what is strategic HR management? What does it mean? Now here, I, I got this definition. Uh, I'm sure there are so many definitions, you know, uh, how is it defined, but um, it's a process by which organizations seek to link this, you have three words there, capital, these are the capital of their members to the strategic needs of the firm. So you have three, three words, but those are not the right words, okay? I would like you to unscramble the letters of those words in a highlighted in orange, and I would like you to come up with the right words. Let me and, and try, to, try to type your answers in the chat. Okay, let me see if, uh, um, let me see what you have. Okay, of course, the first one is human. Thank you. Wow, somebody got it. Uh, yes, yes, indeed, very correct. Okay, we have, thank you so much. Thank you for, for, for trying and you're so quick. And, and of course, you know this very well. So human, social and intellectual capital of the members of the organization. We have to link these capitals to the strategic needs of the firm. And, and how do we do that? We have, already uh, seen 
in, 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 the, in the word cloud that we made in the first question that we have to be forward looking, future oriented. We have to be, uh, we have to plan well and, and so on and so forth. Uh, let's look at it again. Now, so we have human capital, we have the social capital and we have the intellectual capital. So how do we deal with this strategically? How, I mean, human capital is not only, a, it's not, it will not become a capital if you have only the skills which are unused, okay? So if they have the skills, but you are not using their skills so that your business will have, will achieve results, then you are missing out on uh, how you use your human capital. And you have to have roles for them. They have skills, but no roles. Maybe they need to, they need to be uh, doing leadership roles. They have to be managing and they have to be, uh, to be doing these things and that, those things so that the business will be, will be helped, will be, the results will be achieved. We have to do that for this human capital. And of course, the social capital, uh, their networks, uh, very important. How, how are we going to leverage the networks of our employees? And also for the, for the intellectual capital, uh, are we doing knowledge management? How are we, how are we uh, using the, the tacit, explicit knowledge of, of, of the members of our organization? Uh, do we have the system of really being able to retrieve uh, quickly so that we can use uh, those knowledge that is stored for our use in order for our business to be helped, okay? So now I, I'm sure that you have heard those who were uh, in the, in the, uh, the first uh, webinar of AIT extension, I'm sure you heard about this, VUCA world, and that means volatility uncertainty, complexity, and ambiguity. This is the world, the digital world that we are in, okay? So it's, it's very uh, volatile, very quick to change, uncertain. Uh, why, why is it happening? What do we do next, okay? Uh, very complex, you have to look at it strategically uh, uh, using strategic thinking so that we will understand the complexity of what's happening in the market. Why customers behave like this? Why, 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 why uh, technology has to be used? And why markets are like this? Uh, when COVID came, uh, I'm sure you experience uh, this, these things, ambiguity. So the, the VUCA world is this, okay? And this is the, the, the digital world that we are in, okay? And we have to respond to this, uh, so being strategic in the VOCA world in a volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous word, world is to have a vision, okay? So what, will, what do we think will happen next? Now, I don't know if, if I'm sure Grab is also uh, fam uh, uh, familiar in, in, in Nepal. Uh, what, what would be after Grab? What would be after Uber? What else? Uh, and, and already we have Grab motorbike, we have uh, Grab food and things like that. So what will happen next? A leader, an HR leader who can think about what's next, what's in the future, near future. And we need to be understanding, okay? We have to understand uh, what is this uncertain world. And, and clarify, we have to clarify uh, this uh, complex happenings around us with regards to the market, the, the consumer market and things like that. So being strategic is having a vision, uh, understanding the complexity, being clear, and also being easily adaptable, agile, agility, flexible. So we do not stick to what has been there for a long time. We have to challenge the traditional. We have to be strategic. Now, again, being strategic is being able to participate in the process of strategic human resource management. We have to be prepared in, in, in discussing with, 
with our corporate management with, regard, with regards to business goals? How do we scan the environment? How do we conduct analysis of what is happening and what is happening in our situation, in our organization, and what's happening with our employees, why they are not functioning well, why we are not achieving, what's the gap? Uh, uh, we have to know what are the priorities of our organization in terms of uh, human resource uh, processes. And we have to measure the results of our, of our uh, interventions, of our activities. So, so these are the things, this, are the, this is the process of strategic human resource management that, that we as HR practitioners should be able to, to participate okay, in, in doing. And here again, uh, decision ma making, being part of the decision making uh, group. Uh, here you have again the VOCA world. Uh, we have the decision makers. If your organization is organized this way, so here, human resources is in the third level. Um, but, but when we say we are strategic in human resource management, our HR should be able to discuss with the corporate management, what business are we in? Uh, we have to understand what business are we in. We have to be able to contribute in the discussion as HR practitioners together with the decision makers at the top. We have to we have to, uh, to share ideas with the business managers. How do we compete? And, and in, of course, the functional level, how do we support the business level and the competitive uh, um, uh, business units to be able to achieve the results of our organization, uh, the targets of our organization. So this is about being strategic. So we have to have to participate in that discussion with the people at the top, with the business unit managers and the other parts of the organizations in terms of planning, in terms of decision making. Uh, we do not just stay in doing administrative jobs. Now, so here we are now moving towards the, the um, um, digital transformation, okay? So the rapid spread of digital technologies will reconfigure the HR organization model. So here, this is a model of the organizational structure of an HR uh, department, okay? Perhaps this is in a big scale, but if we can put this into a smaller scale uh, inside an organization, uh, the HR department, I believe that uh, it's, it's, it, it, it also will look like this. So again, we are not only looking at doing operational uh, activities, but the first one as business partner, okay? We have to be doing business partner jobs uh, because in the future, this we are talking here about the future or even at present, this is already happening, this model of HR organization is already happening in organizations in the developed world or even here in Asia. And, and, and here you can see the first part, uh, business partner, we have to be focusing on organizational effectiveness, uh, talent strategy, execution, succession planning, and those other parts, operational parts of HR, we will be, uh, uh, they will be taken care of by the uh, self-service uh, way, okay? Again, um, uh, there are many things, uh, operational activities that can be changed into self-service type of actions. And the next one, operational services. So again, this is about operation, although now the, the operational uh, type of services will be done by, by robots, will, will be done by by artificial intelligence, but what is the role of HR? HR is more on monitoring these operations, monitoring these transactional cases, and doing improvements, thinking about how to improve these operations of these uh, robots and also of this artificial intelligence. So again, it's, it's not purely, uh, it's not purely 
uh, administration operational, but it's more on a high level in terms of continuous improvement. Okay, so we have to make it fast. Uh, and the other part is uh, strategic services, centers of excellence. So here HR has to move towards this uh, expertise and also um, we have uh, outsourcing will become part of the HR organization. So now let's go to the second part, digital transformation. So let us uh, look at how, how uh, the digital world has advanced, okay? So now the, 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 the we are now in the artificial intelligence uh, wave five, okay? So this is how fast the, the technology is, is, is uh, rapidly changing. And what is digital transformation? Is the integration of digital technology into all areas of business. It's not only that, it's not only using digital technology, but it's also about cultural change, change of not being, uh, 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 remaining on a status quo, not remaining traditional, but experimenting, but trying new things and not being comfortable with with failure, if we fail, then we do things again. So we have to face challenges. And that is, so in another way, uh, digital transformation starts with digitization and then going forward to digitalization, creating a culture, and then digital transformation is being really flexible, very active, innovative. Okay, so that is how we look at uh, digital transformation. Okay, so here, here are some of the, of the questions that, sorry, that we have to ask. Now, if we go for digital transformation in our organization, especially about HR, then we have to ask these questions. Uh, do we know which uh, part of the business that we have to, uh, to digitize, uh, more profitable part? And, and do we know um, the customer journeys, how, 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 does, how, how do the customers uh, access our services? Uh, um, is there a possibility that for them, they don't need to go to our shops anymore, to our uh, buildings anymore, but they will just receive those through online, the services and the products that we have? Uh, is there collaboration within our organization? Are we allowing trial and error approach? Are we coordinating all of these digital initiatives? Are we giving tools to our employees? And uh, are we challenging, the, uh, are we creating new ideas, challenging the status quo? Are we allowing that? And is our budget flexible? Are our employees empowered to act? So these are, these are some of the questions that we have to, to answer, we have to deal so that we are able to uh, digitally transform our organization, okay? Now, traditional HR versus digital HR, of course, you have the benefits and advantages. Uh, we know that uh, it's quick, it's time efficient, cost effective, no paperwork, and so on and so forth in comparison to the traditional way. Okay, so here, let us look at the steps to, uh, to be able to transform the organization. First, of course, we have to have goals. We have to have a team. We have to gather a team who are very passionate about uh, this, this particular task. And of course, they have to know the task. Develop a strategy. We have to build uh, the right tech stack or the tools. We have to build the tools, the system. And we should not be afraid of experimenting, of trying, okay? So we, if, we, if it's not too effective, then we have to make some adjustments with the system that we have developed. We have to experiment. And we have to measure results. After trying uh, what we have experimented, we have to look at results. Or after developing the system, let's uh, measure results. And are we transparent? Are we communicating? about what we are doing. And finally, even if we are using technology a lot in our organization, we should not forget 
what's the culture of our organization, the culture maybe of being together, not only just uh, being together online or Zoom, but uh, rewarding, having time together and being uh, part of, of that culture. Okay, now we have to, we have, to, uh, I, want to, I want to see uh, what, what stage of digital transformation is your organization uh, in, okay? The first stage, business as usual. Customer operations maintain the status. It depends on the customer, business as usual. We are not doing anything because it's not required by the customer. Are we in that stage of digital transformation? Or are we in the second stage? Are we experimenting? Are we, uh, um, are we imagining? Are we being creative? Are we doing trial and error? Experimenting the technology that we have? And the third stage, do we have the sense of urgency? After we have experimented with something, are we formalizing what we have experimented? Are we strategic? Uh, are we, because sometimes our efforts, our efforts in terms of digitalizing, they are happening in different parts of the organization. And number four, the third, the fourth stage is, are we coming together? And then are we having a dedicated team uh, converge? That's the fifth stage. And finally, are we now established being innovative and adaptive? So the culture of innovation becoming top priority. So which stage are you? Uh, is your organization in terms of digital transformation? So here, another poll. I would like to ask this question to you. So again, which stage are we? Uh, I will share the next uh, polling question. Okay. So look at this question. And I would like you to select only one answer, okay? Only one answer, which stage is your organization now with regards to digital transformation? Is it is in a business as usual stage? Present and active stage, formalized? Oh, sorry, sorry. Um, it's not yet long, sorry. Okay, that's the question. Sorry. Okay, please formalize. Wow. Okay. Business as usual, 32, 31. Okay. Innovative and adaptive, 10% converge. So business as usual is still leading. Okay. Okay, a uh, few seconds more. Let's see whether you are still in business as usual stage. Okay. Present and active, 29, formalized 19%, 10%, and so on and so forth. So let me just, let me just uh, uh, share with you the, the result, okay. Mm. Okay, share, this is the result, okay? So, wow, innovative and adaptive, 13% compared to present and active, 30%. So again, it's, it's not bad, okay? So, so we, are, we are improving in terms of what we are doing. So now, so that's about the, the, the digital transformation part. Now let's move on to, this is the last part because I'm going to combine uh, this uh, two, two parts, the third and the fourth. So we have examples of how uh, companies, uh, some companies are doing uh, digital transformation of HR functions. And according to statistics, we have 64% of HR leaders say that improving operational excellence is one of their top business objectives. Of course, they, they, 
they want to be excellent in terms of their operations. And that this is this is a research by different organizations, research organizations, and and they were they're asking about uh, leaders, HR leaders, and companies in terms of HR issues. So 64 percent um, they want to improve excellence. Uh, 56 percent uh, of companies are redesigning their HR programs to leverage digital and mobile to tools. So HR programs using digital technology. So 56 percent, 67 percent. So they, they think, they believe that uh, if their company does not become significantly more digitalized by this year, it will no longer be competitive. So we had to compete, they had to compete, and they think that it is really necessary. And of course, in terms of results, 80% um, of the organizations who are doing digital culture, uh, they have breakthrough performance as a result of using technology in the organization. So let us look at, so it's, it's, it's important. We have to move forward. We have to, we have to really uh, leverage technology um, uh, that, that are available in order to, uh, to do business. So let's look at some examples on how companies are transforming HR digitally uh, under talent acquisition, learning and development, employee engagement and well-being, and performance management. Okay, so now according to research again, recruiting and staffing becomes truly candidate centric. So more focus on the, 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 the candidate. When we recruit people, uh, that recruitment will focus on the candidate. What does it mean? An example, Accenture. Accenture is an organization headquartered in Ireland and doing consulting. And when they hire people to, for, for, for work in their organization, they have to focus on what are the strengths of the, 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 the applicants, what's the passion, because they believe that when the person enjoys what he or she is doing, then the, 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 the productivity will just flow. So here, each employee of Accenture is given multiple strength assessment tests, and then uh, knowing their strengths, knowing their passion, then organization will align the priorities and goals with the strengths of the employee. You see, it's very focused on the employee, what the employee is capable of, uh, and, 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 and they, they are aligning the priorities and goals and also collects feedback to adapt its talent management processes even farther. And they are using this mixed model solution called performance achievement system. Now this is technology, uh, technology supported, um, um, not only hiring, but also performance management. Okay, let's look at LinkedIn. I don't know uh, how many of you, I actually, I saw, I saw the announcement of this webinar in LinkedIn. And, and that is one of the things that we have to do with regards to hiring people. We have to, we have to uh, find a way wherein we, we are also able to advertise uh, our organization to a wider audience uh, using technology so we can connect uh, with the best candidates, matching using, uh, uh, using different tools. LinkedIn is a very important tool for organizations and individuals looking for a job and, and companies looking for individuals to work in their organization. So world's largest professional network and also Microsoft fastest growing businesses, one of uh, Microsoft businesses. Okay, let's look at, look at training and development or learning and development. So now formal, informal training it's not, it's uh, maybe the difference is, is, uh, is, is not that much anymore because um, training and development will become personalized. Maybe you just send a particular video that the worker will be able to view to help him do his job and context specific training and learning support. So it's, it's, it's uh, we have already progressed we have already progressed from 
e-learning and blended learning. Now we are in this learning in the flow of work and capability academies. Many organizations, they have their own, uh, they have their own universities for the training of their own people. But of course, if you, if you want to send uh, your, your people to, to, for, for master's degree or other degrees, you, can, you will have a choice whether you go for online courses or you will go for uh, real education. But here, learning in the flow of work using technology, using YouTube videos, using uh, Twitter, using um, uh, network learning. So that is what will happen. Uh, network learning is learning uh, together with others, personal learning networks we have to use uh, so that uh, we will be able to leverage the educational capital and social capital of those who are in the network so that we will be able to, to improve our self through mastery. Mastery, we are going to be not only our self, but somebody will, will uh, validate what we, uh, what we are doing, what we have learned and learning from, from peers and uh, social network. There will be critical, credible feedback. We, we can, we can uh, ask for social support in, 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 in the process of learning. And of course, motivation and engagement, because when you are in a network, there are people who will help in terms of what you have to learn. Now, there are uh, movements, there are groups, LOL, what do you mean by LOL? I think you would say, uh, what? Let's see, what is LOL? Let's see if somebody will say something. What is LOL? Lots of love, <laughs> Ranjana. Wow, Ranjana is in love. <laughs> what is LOL and what is WOL? Okay, so only laugh out loud, lots of love. Okay, so thank you for those uh, answers. But actually, you're almost there, almost correct, Mr. O uh, is it Omkar, Mr. Omkar? You're almost there, but it's actually LOL is learning out loud, meaning you learn together with others. When you learn, you are learning with others, so others will know that you are learning. Uh, in fact, we learn by teaching, yeah? So even, even if I'm teaching, I'm also learning from you. Uh, when I'm going to teach, I have to do a lot of research. So that's learning out loud because people, and what's W? W, of course, it's about work. It's not world of learning, Anjula, but it's work out loud. Okay, again, this is, this is a movement. If you, if, you, if you look at those two uh, uh, things, LOL and WOL, there are, again, ways of learning uh, how HR can can use networks for, for developing their uh, employees. And here example is uh, Deloitte. Again, this is a UK based uh, organization and they have this Deloitte People Network, uh, which is um, uh, the learning network for, for it's, an, it's a platform, okay? Uh, used by Deloitte in terms of training and development wherein their employees will be able to discuss uh, directly with the experts in their network. Okay, almost there, employee engagement and well-being. Now, analytics tools can pinpoint the drivers of engagement and direct tailor in interventions as needed. So uh, what I mean with this is that uh, are our employees engaged? Are they, uh, are they having, uh, are they doing well? Are they uh, having work-life balance? So we can use analytics tools in order to reach our, to, to us, in order to monitor our, uh, our employees. And an example of that is Starbucks. Starbucks, especially during the COVID situation or even before I believe that all employees in the US of Starbucks will have access to 20 sessions a year with a mental health expert, okay, to coach through providing, providing um, uh, uh, coaching using the platform Lyra Health. Okay, again, that's a technology uh, assisted uh, type of intervention 
and sessions can be in person or via video, via video chat, and there are some self-care apps. Again, the uh, uh, Starbucks is focusing on the well-being of their employees. Okay, performance management. This is the last uh, of the functions that I would like to talk about. Performance management and employee relations become real-time, social, and more human. So an example of that is DTAC in Thailand. It's a telecom, a mobile company. Again, it's about strengths-based development, performance management, 360-degree feedback, using technology-oriented platform. And, and this is really powering digital transformation in a project-based way of work in DTAC in Thailand. So in, instead of using the KPI model, uh, they are focusing more on the strengths of the employees and in, in, in terms of performance management using a platform, uh, a technology platform. So, okay, wow, that's, that's a lot already. I hope you are still following uh, <clears throat> my presentation. I, I hope you are still listening. What challenges are you facing regarding digital transformation of HR in your organization? This is the question. What are the challenges? I just would like you to write on the chat. What are your challenges? Okay. What are your challenges in terms of digital transformation of HR in your organization? Technology, budget, old thought of CEO. Wow. I hope your CEO Mr. Musham is not here. Uh, budget, team management. Okay, there's no team management. Or team, team management is maybe has to be improved. Remotely located beneficiaries. Okay, maybe uh, difficult to reach. Finance, rigid management. Yes, not flexible. Again, one of those questions, are we flexible? ICT, error budget and authority, and so on and so forth. Thank you so much for... Uh, so many inputs here, budget and human finance, lack, lack of knowledge, okay, management team, infrastructure. So there are many things. So let us look at, thank you, thank you for all your feedback on that question. So many challenges, uh, lack of clear strategy or goal. So again, we have to have a goal for digital transformation. We do not, we do not just use technology because technology is there. There has to be a purpose. What is the goal? Why we are going to transform? Uh, resistance from the upper, from the upper management, from the corporate management. Okay, they, they no buy-in. Uh, they they oppose the idea of digital transformation. That's a big challenge. Lack of budget. Okay, of course you mentioned that. There's no budget. Uh, Lack of expertise, okay, also mentioned by some of you, and lack of flexibility, very rigid, very, very true that all the inputs that you had, the feedback to that <coughs> question. And it's, it's very, it's really true. What you mentioned in the chat are really uh, real challenges with regards to, um, so how do we address these challenges? How do, we, how do we solve, how do we, what are our solutions to these challenges? Um, how do we, how do we uh, if, if the upper authority, upper management does not allow us, what are we going to do if we don't have budget, okay? Now, now remember there are, there are uh, technologies which are Still, I mean, the, we have some free technologies that you can use for, for maybe for trial, okay? You use for trial. You, you, you experiment using free platforms, okay? There are so many free platforms uh, in the internet which you can use if you don't have the budget, if you, if you want to start by experimenting, okay? So there are many free things. But when you decide, when you bring the case after experimenting, bring the case to the to the uh, to the uh, upper management who are resistant, then and you can make a case. So there are some of there are some. Okay, now, so I have I have said a lot. 
uh, we will go to questions and Q&A later, but I would like you to think now. I would like you to reflect now. And I would like you to go to Minty again. Let's go to Minty and then answer the, the, the new question. Let's, uh, let's have a new question and in Minty. Um, because we are now, I'm done with my presentation and let's see how we can apply. Uh, what are we going to do next with regards to, uh, to what we have already learned? You have already learned many things in the past few weeks. And I would like you to, to answer this question, okay? Go to menti.com. The code is, oh, sorry, I have to share this one first. Uh, new share. Okay, so, so go to menti.com. Okay, what would be your next steps towards digital HR transformation in your organization? Better connection, okay, that, in, that needs budget, yeah? So you need a budget for, for that. Uh, digitally work from home. Okay, uh, that's, that's, a, that's a good idea while we are still, um, but also again, the new normal, the new normal, there will be that flexibility, I believe, even in Nepal for sure, that we can already work from home. And again, technology is very important for that. Wow, so we have here some of your next steps. Implementation of new technology to automate, support management to understand, support the management to understand. Yeah, that is very good. You have to bring the case to your management. You have to, you have to challenge the management. You have to provide proof that we need this. You have to understand that we need. Learn and grow, follow the change curve. That's good. Research. That's very good. You have to do research. You have to, you have to, to know what is happening. You have to uh, uh, learn from examples. You have, to, you have to ask Mr. Mukun, wh which are the organizations uh, uh, um, uh, doing digital HR and can we learn from them? So do research. Uh, training, of course, we need to train the staff and more flexible, to be more flexible. Okay, many things, very good. Paperless environment, okay. So next steps, innovation, research, vigilance. What, what does vigilance mean? Of course, uh, to, be, to be flexible is to be vigilant also. Whatever is, whatever is changing around us, we have to monitor, we have to check so that we can uh, act. Employee awareness, yes, we have to make employees aware of the situation. Thank you very much, thank you. These are very good suggestions, very good uh, applications of what you have been learning in the past uh, webinars. So let me, thank you so much, thank you. I would like to go back uh, because we are really running out of time, but thank you very much for those very good uh, next steps. Okay, now, Conclusion, I'm in conclusion now. What is our conclusion? First, HR should be the digital transformation leader because HR knows the needs of the employees, but also HR has to go beyond the employees. HR has to know the needs of the customers, the suppliers, okay? So, because we, take action, uh, developing our people, doing something with the organizational effectiveness according to what is happening with regards to the customer side. So digital transformation leader, uh, HR should be digital transformation leader because digitalization challenges is about work culture. Okay, that's very important. That, that means uh, HR has to help itself. HR has to has to develop itself. HR has to, uh, 
to, to, to be uh, those things that are necessary for digital transformation, uh, capacitate uh, it itself. But we have to remember that it's not the technology itself, uh, but it's how we apply the technology, okay? What's the, what's the need of our customers? Let's apply something, let's develop an application. It's not only uh, using technologies here and there without addressing our uh, business needs. Uh, it's the way of how we apply technology uh, appropriately, okay? So um, with regards to, again, strategic human resource management in the digital age, we have, we look at the future, zoom out, but it should be the most likely future, the near future, not the very far future. We are, we are the future is around us actually. And zoom in, what can we do now so that we will reach that future, okay? That very near future, what would be our priorities that will lead to that future? So these are the things that I would like to share with you. So that's it. And we can go for Q and A. Uh, thank you so much, uh, uh, Mr. Ray. So in a, in a very short time, you have covered many things, I think, right? From beginning level to uh, basic level to uh, digital transformation as well. We are already running out of time. Uh, I know there are a few questions we, we need to answer. So uh, I would like, uh, uh, like to ask Mr. Mukunda, uh, so do you have anything uh, to share? Because you have also gone through the question and answer, question six block, right? If you have anything to answer, you can answer now, sir. Okay. Uh, I have a few questions uh, from the participants. Yeah. Uh, I will answer this, those questions. I have answered a few questions in the chat itself. And first, uh, my apologies for not speaking in, in English. I spoke in Nepali because I didn't know there were participants from abroad Nepal, outside Nepal. There were, uh, a, was a question from Saligram Parajuli from Nepal Telecom. Yes. Uh, how we can fulfill the skill gap of the employees in digital transformation? Actually, uh, there are a few ways to fulfill the skill gaps. We cannot remove, we cannot terminate employees who are working right now in our organization. So yes. first we have to bring in some uh, skilled employees. That is, the, that is the most, some fresh minds, fresh employees has to be brought into the organization. And next is we have to reskill existing employees. Those who are working in the business process have to be reskilled re through training and orientation. And one, one of the most important thing is we have to design the HR system to cover business process, not a technical thing. Just like clicking on the menu, click on uh, running a query. We have to let go of that, those old system. We have to use a very user-friendly system that caters to business process. When we cater to business process, we follow the business process. Nobody can, it is not difficult to learn. Everybody knows the business process. They are in the HR field, they are doing the business. And if the system is designed that way, there will be not a problem to follow the digital system. And another question is from uh, Ujjwal Adhikari, how competency mapping be implemented in our local context? Mainly competency mapping is first, the organization has to develop skills and competencies for every job in the organization. When you develop skills and competencies, required skill competencies, knowledge, uh, and other requirements just like education and training, you can create a job profile for every position. And those job profiles will have all the competencies, mainly we call it call them KSAs. We can build job description based on those job profiles, which have KSAs. And those KSAs, those job descriptions, which have already KSAs built on, built on those job, based on job profile can be compared. It's like, what is the expected competencies from the employees and what are the available competencies of the employees? We can compare those expected and available competencies based on KSA model. But, but first we have to have a clear job profile and clear job description of the positions. And there was uh, another question from Sarda Wagle. 
uh, how we can accommodate uh, lower level staff into the digital scenario. Basically, we cannot uh, accommodate all employees in the digital scenario. Just like uh, there may be guards, there may be uh, kitchen staff, peons, messengers, they cannot be implemented in 100%. There, there is not, it is not possible to implement 100% to all the employees, but there are certain things we can do. Just like everybody body has smartphones right now, we can track attendance, we can track locations, we can uh, send notification to them. Just we can send them in Nepali if they are uh, cannot read in English. But, uh, not everything is possible in digital HR for lower level employees, but many things can be done. Attendance tracking, leave tracking, notification, messaging, this kind, kind of things can be done. And for more technical matters, we can allow the supervisor of those employees. Supervisor can fulfill the gap for lower level employees in the digital system. And there was another- uh, Sir, I think we need to stop because uh, there is one relevant question to uh, Mr. Ray. Yeah. Mr. Ray, here is one, sir. Uh, yeah, so because we have very limited time, so I'm just stopping it. So okay. we are, uh, you know, getting, uh, we'll get back to them later, right? So because we have already recorded all the questions, so our team will reply, they will contact you and can reply right later. okay okay fine. sir uh mr Ray, we have one question uh how to make the teaching profession uh effective by using technology so teaching profession means it's uh, related to l uh, and or teaching uh, process right so how we can make this process effective by using technology this is the question by bj raspanta Okay, uh, are you are you uh, talking about uh, teaching in the school in the university, something like that? I think he's he's a principal from one one of the school. So okay, I think he's must be asking about. Okay, uh, you know, now that's um, you know you know what actually all the teachings or uh, most of the teachings in Thailand now um, are use and you're using technology online learning using uh, well basically most of the schools are using zoom okay using zoom in terms of teaching because of the covid situation and and there are many ways wherein there are many tools that you can use uh, there are videos that, uh, that 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 people can uh, students can watch and then using videos for discussion and and also using zoom for for teaching um, uh, and whether it's uh, skills oriented or not. So there are several technologies that we can use. We have offline technologies like um, those videos and also uh, some, uh, some um, resources from different, uh, different, uh, different internet websites that they can use for teaching. I mean, we, ca we can utilize those, uh, those technologies, those th resources, but, but it has to be planned. I mean, it has to be planned that the outcomes will be achieved even using those technologies for teaching. So because we want it to be effective, then we have to look at what results are, do we want to achieve for students in terms of grades or in terms of skills and things like that. And we plan the technology, use the of technology according to the, the goals that we set in terms of outcomes. Okay, uh, can I take one more question uh, for Mr. Ray? <clears> there <throat> is one question from uh, Madan Khadka. So, can you can you please uh, elaborate about KPI model and reference regard performance appraisal in a very okay. short way? Okay. Uh, so the KPI model, uh, key performance indicators. Uh, normally, these indicators. Um, these are the, the, the things that your supervisor, uh, the, the supervisor would like to see in terms of uh, what results they want to see from your work when you are working, okay? So key performance, what, uh, what are the results of, you, of performing the, the tasks uh, in your job? So you have, to, you have to plan this, you have to list this down together with your supervisor and discuss about it whether you are able, I mean, whether at the beginning you have to discuss this with your supervisor so that at the end of the year, normally, normally we are doing appraisal at the end of the year or some, some organizations, uh, they, they do a midterm half of the year. So uh, according to this list of key performance indicators, 
then you will be you will be reviewed you will be uh you will be um uh, judged by by your by your uh supervisor whether you are able to achieve uh, what you have set at the beginning after half of the year or end of the year. And, and I think the most important thing about KPIs uh, with regards to the KPI model at present, presently, we need, we need feedback, quick feedback. We do not wait for the half of the year, end of the year that we give feedback to our employees. We have to give feedback all the time. That is how a performance management is changing quick feedback, uh, um, informative feedback, not only you failed here, you failed there. We have to tell the employee why, why, what's, what's challenging you, what, what, what's keeping you from performing well. Okay, so, so and then you provide uh, some ways of developing the person so that he, can, he or she can achieve the, the, the performance uh, um, objectives. So that's KPI model. Yes, yes. Thank you so much uh, for uh, the presentation and, uh, you know, uh, letting, letting us know about many things about digitalization and HR things uh, from both of you. Uh, we are really happy for both of you uh, to be here. And let's see uh, if we, we can do anything in later. In other, other session, we will uh, again get back to you. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Ray and uh, Mr. Mukunda Pokre. Right, sir? So uh, now I would like to uh, you know, ask uh, Mr. Pradeep, Dr. Pradeep Kumar Das to uh, close the session, in fact, and to give the, you know, word of thanks to all the participants and all, whatever you have, uh, you can share now, sir. It's your platform. Once is your again, platform. thank you very much. I'm calling Pradeep now. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, I think it was uh, one of the very interactive uh, session. It was not usually the, the typical uh, uh, webinar style. It was a lot of interaction with a lot of polling and a uh, lot of interaction with the participants. And we saw the chat box also. People also, the participants were not a passive listener. They were actively listening and also responding to the questions. So this is, uh, this is uh, possible also with the application of technology. And uh, Mr. Ro Ray Ronaldo, who is a, a very seasoned trainer, he used uh, a lot of these interactive session. So on behalf of AIT Extension, I would like to thank you, Mr. Ronaldo, for his uh, uh, excellent uh, and interactive session uh, through our second webinar, uh, which is uh, the need of the hour. Uh, special thanks to Mr. Bimal from ProxPro for the uh, valuable partnership. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mukunda Pokriyal also from the Rigo Consulting uh, talk about HRMIS, which is definitely very, very required uh, when we are at the 21st century and considering the current uh, uncertain environment. So thank you very much uh, for all the valuable contribution, which make the webinar very, very qualitative, interactive, and very effective. Uh, I would like to thank you also, uh, my AIT Extension colleagues, particularly Pallabi, Kanlaya, and Brian, for their uh, uh, very, very uh, strong support and technical uh, inputs which uh, uh, was uh, possible only through their uh, great help. Looking forward to have a similar webinar in coming weeks through our uh, partners, uh, Mr. Bimal. Uh, these, are, these are, I should say, these are the trailer of the movies through this webinar and definitely uh, uh, we can have uh, collaboration and partnership for uh, blended learning, which, uh, which is very much possible through our uh, uh, online and offline teaching resources. So thank you very much for all the participants for your active participation and cooperation to make this webinar a very successful one. Thank you very much. Thank you so much uh, to all the active participants. And uh, I hope uh, 
you understand that because uh, because of time we could not answer all the questions definitely we will get back to you we have summarized all the questions uh, ms uh, miss sapna is uh, you know noting all the things and even uh, mukunda sir i think you have also replied so we will try to cover all the uh, queries all of your queries and reply to uh, in your email box only so thank you so much see you again thank you very thank you. much thank, thank you. you very much mukunda sir thank you so much thank you Thank you.